All right, how's it going guys? I got a request to show you how the AI works and how to use it in game. So here we go. Uh, obviously first select your location. Uh, if you have a, a weak CPU or a mid-range computer, spawning other vehicles is really going to tax it. I recommend using a, maybe an open map or something that doesn't have a lot of trees, grass, rocks, and other things to bog it down. Uh, first thing you need to know is it has to be in uh, windowed mode in order to use the editor mode. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is hit J to disable the physics button. Go to library, level, beamng, beamng vehicles, and from here you can choose your vehicle. Now you can spawn any vehicle and end up changing it later, so if you make a mistake and spawn one that you don't want, that's not a big deal. So for the sake of the tutorial, I'm not going to spawn very many vehicles. So we're going to create one now. After you spawn that vehicle, you can use these little uh, green, red, and blue to move it around. That way, once you re-enable the physics, it's not crashing down on top of your own vehicle. Again, once you've done that, here you're going to want to hit J again, re-enable physics, so you can switch between the cars. And then I like to disable it again. Now, I may be doing more steps than I need to. I don't know. I'm not an expert. I'm pretty new to this game as well. But uh, from what I know, you have to hit Tab to switch to each vehicle, Control T to open up the AI menu, down to Chasing Player or Flea, whichever you prefer, and then c continue to do that for each vehicle. Once you've done that, go ahead and tab back to your own vehicle, hit J, and the vehicle's going to chase you as so. Uh, the vehicles, excuse me, let me turn this off real quick here. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so the vehicles, uh, they only chase you or they only flee from you. They won't attack other vehicles at this point in time. So, good luck and have fun.